Look at that. To wake the moon and make a run, the power of 10 must push us one. It's, th it's left by three above the sun. Okay. There's the last music disc! And there's a... A... A that. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> I'm just gonna take this. Thrills at night. <laughs> ha! Ha! I wish I had tried that first. I'm pretty sure it was this way. Yep, it was. Hey, I've got the last two music discs. Uh, first I'm gonna save. I did find all of the discs. Alright, this one goes out to all the terrifying monsters in the house. Oh, I it. Why am I a tap dancer? The tempo's way too fast on this track. Drop the RPMs, or better yet, drop the the whole album in a dumpster. No thanks. Yeah, I guess he's not a fan. Here, here's the last music disc. Let me guess, he doesn't like this one either. He gets so mad that he just runs out and starts beating the crap out of everyone. I heard it! Oh, never mind! No, that's Groovy! Oh, that bass line is making my body do things I never dreamed possible! I'm ready to get down! Wait, 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 I'm not gonna be the only one down here getting loose! Why is this place so dead? Who killed the mood? You did. I'm not gonna cut a, a rug unless anyone is- Everyone is cutting a rug! Dig! Well, at least he likes the song, but we gotta do something about the dance floor! Normally, filling the dance floor is my speciality. Specialty? Speciality, I, I don't know. But this clown won't let me play my jam! Maybe, wait, maybe we can get those faceless toes to help. They'll dance to anything, right? Here, take this ancient portable music machine! It's already got a disc inside, so just walk around bumping it. I know those faceless toes will fall. We need about 40, I'd say. Good luck! All right. Come on. Hey, did it. You got enough toads to set this party off. Let's get him on the dance floor and see what happens. Yo. 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 It's DJ Toad bringing you the, uh, well, not the latest hits, but it's me. I was like, get out on the dance floor with those faceless freaks and our special guest, Mario. Uh, uh. Yay, it's the same music I've been listening to for the... Oh my god. 
I can't anymore. I can't. Why do paper? <laughs> This is so weird! Oh my gosh! It's groovy! Oh my gosh! This guy's just taking everyone out! The Disco Devil Hole Punch! <gasps> hole Punch! Hey! I know you're totally in the groove and all, but you totally blew all those toads off the stage! And you punched their faces earlier! Did you do that just so they would dance with you? That's monstrous! Lady, I couldn't stop grooving now if I wanted to! So I guess we're gonna have to face off! Okay, we're doing this! We be grooving once again! I am pumped! I'm gonna br I'm gonna own this dance floor till the break of dawn! And see if there's no sun to rise in here, that's that means this groove is never gonna end! I'll start with this some moves uh, even amateurs can appreciate. Ooh, come on! One, two, punch! Okay, I have to hand it to this thing. Its dance moves are sharp. They were so sharp that they left holes in the floor. I'm guessing we should steer clear of those. Let me guess, the on button isn't even going to work. The hole punch's yellow body is really tough. He's hiding a hole, a vulnerable spot somewhere. Well, yeah, duh. Lid? Handle lid. No, I'm not even sure this is gonna work. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. You wanna dance? You wanna dance, bro? Let me show you what you're up against. Oh my gosh! Mario, your face! Eww. He stole my face! I never thought I would have to say that. There's nothing I can do!
Yeah, this works. Hit the whole... Yeah. Okay. It says something about hitting the handle to send paper things flying. Right? Oh, it did! I somehow managed to block that. Oh, hey, look, it's my face! Hello, face! What is that? Is that a face? Wait, Mario, that's you! you your punched out face is on the dance floor. You better grab it quick. Oh, you think, Olivia, you think? Do you really think so? Hmm. 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 Dang. Dang. I'm gonna hit with the flashy hammer twice to do some major damage. 48 damage! Ooh. <laughs> Look at how much damage I, ju I just managed to do! Is it time for me to bust out my super secret special dance move? Let's hear it make some noise! Oh, hey, look, the on button is working. Oh, that means something bad is coming. Something really bad. Like something really bad. Like something so bad. Okay, I think you guys get it. Something bad's happening. Okay, seek higher ground. Perfect. That's what I'm doing. I'm seeking higher ground to avoid some major damage. Elemental power! Activate! Save me, Olivia! Yay! I've been saved! And now Olivia's gonna do a super awesome thing! What just happened? Only five damage! Excellent! Dude! <laughs> no way! You dodged my special move! Get back down here so I can two-step on your face! No. No. I don't think I will let you do that thing that you want me to do. I know what must be done. Oh, it's time. It is time to tell, to show this guy who is the boss. The true boss. Not some crappy hole punch! <laughs> Get dead! Get dead! 3,000 coins, of course. Oh man, why'd you have to harsh my groove? We had it bumping in here! Let's keep it going anyway. Just go forever! Count it down! Uh, yeah, you can't. <laughs> Three, two, one! Smiley faces and... Okay, they're not smiley. Look! Things! People! Cracked voice from talking too much. Even though I wasn't talking for a majority of this episode... All that's left to do is get rid of that streamer. Yep, just gotta hammer someone. Just because 
I can. Casually teleports. Yes! The third streamer, I think, is gone! It is gone! And look! That happened. It's bright outside, there's obviously a sun. Wait, does that mean everywhere's like a completely different world with its own sun and everything? Ma Paper Mario Theory! It's a Paper Mario Theory! Oh, and there's just a random hole in the, uh, in the floor. And the sun in the sky is apparently made of cardboard. Because why not? We are this this thing. What is that? What is what is this? What is okay? Looks like we've got something new to check out. Oh, and also, confetti! Yellow streamer has been cleared! Yes! By the way, that happened. Yep. And it all comes in, it all goes into the bag, and for some reason it can hold it. Wait a sec. Why is it that only when that streamer confetti goes into it in huge amounts? Why can't I just pick up a bunch of random confetti and... and shove it in to make it bigger? How does that expand the bag, anyway? Oh my gosh, thank you so much for getting my face back! I really needed it this week! Only this week? Oh no. The sun's back to its usual sweltering self, too! Thank you! Oh no. After party in Shroom City! What, what? Oh no. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, thank you! Oh my goodness! Oh, just stops and then comes back. Yo, 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 that was hot! Hot! I tell you, hot! Thanks for the help, Mori. You can hit me up at the hotel oh, in town anytime you like. Bandages are half off on Mummy's Night. Hatch just playing, for real though. Come check out my set down by the pool. It's hot. See you at the hotel. Peace! Wait, did I 100% this area? I 100%ed the area! Eee! Great! Well, the sun is back where it belongs! It's so bright, like we're in an actual desert! Professor, what's the matter? I've got it! The sun was the key all along! Come, we must get to the sun altar right away! Just as I suspected! Look at this, you two! The altar has opened up to reveal some kind of entrance! This may contain what I have been seeking, proof of the ancient ones themselves! Yes, it all makes sense now. You performed the ceremony with the sun incense, but the sun itself was missing! Now that it has returned, the path inside has revealed itself. Wait until they hear about this back at the university! I expect registration for my high semester courses will be at an all-time high. I'm not sure what the professor is talking about, but I'm sure glad he's so happy! Oh well, it's all thanks to you two, of course. This may have remained sealed old forever if you two hadn't been able, able to return the sun to the sky. Now then, let's hurry inside! I'm sure we'll find even more to celebrate, perhaps even a solid lead on the legendary Captain Tio himself. Okay. It's dark. Hey guys, it's up. Is it absolutely freezing in here, or is it just me? 
I thought we were stored in the sun. Why is it so chilly in here? I can explain. Although we are in the desert, we, can, we have now descended below its surface where the sun's warming rays cannot reach us. Actually, it's the mere lack of sunlight cannot explain this degree of chill. I retract my explanation. The reason it's so chill is because I'm in here. I'm in the place. The, I'm in the room. My word, what in the name of peer-reviewed peer study is that? It's what? Oh. It's ice. A huge chunk. That's why it's so cold, Professor. I get it now. Look at this. The refrigeration technology on display is even more sophisticated than I ever could have imagined. Mother of graduate students! There's something in there! Hmm, judging by the distinctive red spots and that unmistakable cloak, could it be? It's Captain Teod himself! He's really real! This is no meal or clue. It's the real deal. I must excavate the site and save him immediately! Yep, just start digging. Meanwhile... I was just gonna say I'm gonna go find some kind of fire elemental circle because it was so obvious, but well, there it is. <laughs> Perfect. Already. Stand aside. Let the firebird sort of roast him alive, eh? and just and stuff. Look, meat. There is meat for some reason. He's not moving. Oh, I hope he can re be revived. Maybe he was just stiff from being frozen for so long. Poor guy. Should I try heating him with fire again? No! That won't be necessary. Burn not paper with fire. Yes, he lest ye yourself become singed. He's alive! And he speaks the same language as us. Kind of. Allow me to, I... Allow me to introduce myself. I am indeed the Toad, known as Ode. Captain T. Ode, to be precise. I have survived the interminable passage of Eon here in this Arctic prison. Now I am free! Captain T. Ode? Of course! Mario! Olivia! I think it means Captain T. Ode! At last, I can finally say I've met a real ancient one myself! Now then, down to serious academic business! There is a simple question that has plagued researchers and archaeologists for time immemorial. Now, in this historic moment, I have the opportunity to go directly to the source. What an occasion! Oh, Captain, my Captain! We have studied the diet of the ancients based on artifacts and oral traditions in the region. But there's one thing that has us completely stumped. How did you take your coffee? Cream and three sugars. Three sugars? It's beyond my wildest imagination! What a breakthrough! You ancient ones have probably forgotten more about coffee than we will ever know! My work here is done! Wow, coffee with, re with three sugars. You must really like sugar! How interesting! Yep, the most important thing that you could have asked in an ancient one. How much sugar do you put and what do you put in your coffee? Not like some uh, forgotten machinery that could change the world forever. How do you drink your coffee? Oh, I guess it's not that interesting. Yep, exactly. Hey. <laughs> anyway, why do you see you so sad, Mr. Captain? Is it because you were frozen or did something else happen to you in this moment? I am as a bird in a cage. I yearn to sail free at the helm of my Marino, underneath the great crusting waves. Did you say Mario? Do you know about the Super Marino? That's so weird. How did you get to the Moose Sea already? So my Marino rests in a Moose Sea, as you call it. It is no place for her adventurous spirit. She yearns to break free. You have my thanks, strange one. I know what I must do. Oh, see ya. Oh, okay. I wonder if he's heading headed to the Moose. He sure seems to care about the Marino. It was hard to be. It was hard for me to understand anything he was saying. I guess that's ancient language for you. 
I am sorry to interrupt, but I haven't made an archaeological discovery in over five minutes. I'm just kidding. A little academic humor. Oh, thank you both for all your help. You've made my dream come true. No, we should be thanking you. You are such a big help in the desert, Professor. So, thank you. Now then, should we head out and try to find the next streamer? What's all this about the purple streamer of the Great Sea? What's the Great Sea? Where is it? Maybe someone back in Toe Town will know. Should we go there? Yeah. I want to eat the meat. I want to eat that. Oh, cool. Flashy hammer. Oh, look. A circle of rocks. Oh, look. A shriveled up max up heart. I am going to put this in the spring. Max up heart plus five. It took forever to get that. Shall we set motor for the great sea? Don't say set motor. Don't ever say great, don't ever say set motor. Wow, the great sea is so big. This breeze feels so good. Why does it smell so salty? It's so endlessly big. The only word you could describe use to describe it is epic. Well, that and great, I guess. Oh look, there's a purple streamer. What's it doing out way out here on the great sea? <coughs> Looks like it stretches out really far. The great sea is huge. We better stick close to the streamer so we don't lo lose track of it. Uh, whoa! A vest! This fog is unbelievable. Can't see through it at all. We just get lost in that mess. Better turn back before we get ourselves in trouble. I wanted pain in the port bow. We had a see if wish we had a sheet sheet <laughs> sea chart that we could navigate through this haze. Say, speaking of sea charts. You, you two ever heard of the legend of the legendary captain? The cap like the, the legend speaks of a legendary toad who moved beneath the waves and owned a legendary sea chart. Yeah, but those are just tall tales. Not much truth behind them, I reckon. If only they were true, a sea chart like that might help us cut right through this blasted fog. Do you mean Captain T Ode? We know that guy. He said he'd be at the Moose Ha ha ha! You jokers! That might be the most ridiculous fib I've ever heard. You met a legendary captain from ancient times and he's just hanging out in a dusty old museum? Ha! You're serious? Well, what are you waiting for? Let's head straight for that museum. Go! Thingy, thingy, thing. Uh, yeah, the thing. This thing. Look, there it is! Huh? I thought Captain T. Ode would be here to greet us. Captain T. Ode? You mean Captain T. Ode? He's, he's not real, you know. He's just an ancient legend. Quite colorful to be sure, but imaginary. Hey, the sign says no piloting the Mario note. You're in direct violation of the sign. Ah, my precious Mario. Still beautiful. Still formidable. And yet, time marches on. Hey, we were just talking about you. So did you find the, uh, the thing you were looking for? The sea chart, that's what it was called. Ooh, I hope you have it. What is lost may never be found. All that remains is a shattered reflection, like a teardrop in a pond. But yes, I have the sea chart. I propose a trade. Convey me and my vessel to the great sea and you shall have my chart. Sorry, I'm late, but I think I heard everything while I was running in. You want to get that rig to the great sea? I'm your toad. Oh, this is gonna be so cool! A submarine on a boat? Two famous captains? I can't wait! <clears throat> what about my exhibit? It's a star attraction. I can't curate something out of thin air. Uh. Easy, keep her coming. Alrighty, you should be good to go here. You decide you want to rig up a few more out boots? Give that vessel some real oomph? You call me. You have my gratitude. And you may now have this. Sea chart! 
Yay, thank you so much. I can't wait to adventure out on the sea. Who knows what kind of amazing things we'll see. <clears throat> Whoa, has everyone ever rhymed those two words before? I must say, this whole situation with Captain Teod being real is what we in the museum call business call completely bananas. That said, there's no disputing the ancient text. The Mara knows yours, Captain. I wish you good luck and toad speed. <clears throat> and if you should choose to return to my humble museum at any time in the future, I will gladly offer you a personal tour. Farewell. Well, this is going to be super. I'm just so excited that you all have called on me and my boat to help. I can't wait to see what the s that submarine can do. Going under the water? What do they think of next? Anyway, I'm ready when you are. <coughs> All right, let's go. Set motor for the Great Sea. Finally. Press L to view my sea chart. The red boat marks your current position. Check my sea chart as you go to keep from getting lost. It's mostly blank right now, but I'll add any new islands we discover along the way. I've already mapped one island on this, on this sea. Menacing, skull-shaped. I named it Bonehead Island. Bonehead Island is said to hide a secret tied to the fog surrounding the Great Sea. Let's start there. Alright, alright, alright! Chart. Is the thing that it is it is that thing okay <laughs> man I'm terrible at words especially when I'm doing a YouTube video which is the best time for word things to happen skull skull move up thing happen yay I think yeah words gee what is it? Submarine Marino. Only one collectible treasure, and they've all been collected. -ed. Oh, hello. If you seek paradise, gather the three orbs on Diamond Island. Pair of dice? What in the world is this statue talking about? Uh, what? 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 Yep, this is just something that happens constantly. Just fans rising out of the ocean. Look at that! Okay, don't look at it anymore. It's gone. Whoa, the fog totally vanished. That was amazing. Seek and you shall find. Come follow me to paradise. Ooh, this sounds like fun! But, well, I guess we need to deal with the purple streamer first. I guess. A heart island? It's shaped like a heart. I'll call it Heart Island. Creativity. Heart Island, an island in the shape of a heart. Wait, oh, I can go. Mm. Seriously? Okay, now press this one. I made that way harder than it should have been. way harder.
What does that do? Disappointed I'm not a real heart? Don't let your heart be troubled by such a thing. Love is all... They had me there for... They had a... They, my goodness. I think... Yep, I am a bit stronger. And all I need is... It's ten more. It's like... One more ten. And uh... I'll have enough for the other thing. I'm not treasure. I'm just me. Same. But I do know where you can find a real treasure out on the ocean. <clears throat> oh, look. A thing. Already a treasure chest. Legendary hammer! The strongest and fanciest hammer in the game! Ah. Oh boy. There's a lot of islands to explore. Oh gosh. Hello! Hi! Yay! Thanks, Mario! I'm- If you had time to save me, I'm guessing you have a bit more time to spare. I want to get that to re that relaxing spot just past this tall grass, but there are too many bad guys. You've got time to escort me there, right? Thanks. No need to answer. I'll just follow you silently. Oh my gosh! Yay! Thanks, Mario! You've been a big help. And I know you'll keep being a big help by making sure my three friends and get out of the grass to join me. Yay! My three friends are out on the top grass. Thanks for offering to bring them here. Yay! I lost... I guess those folded soldiers are pretty scary. Uh, Rargo... Blargle. I'll never ever forgive those bullet soldiers. Oh, thank you, thank you. All four of us are back together. Yay! I'm Joy. Yay! Grr! I'm Edgar. I'm Pathos. I'm Humor. <laughs> and together, we are known as Villain Fungi. Don't you just love it? You love it. I can tell. We'll be putting this act on the road soon, so thanks in advance for spreading the word. As extra thanks, we'll show you a spot on your map where treasure is waiting. Okay. Okay, everyone, once more with feeling! What? Fade Island. Why? Why do all of these islands seem so man made? Uh, what is, hey, I'm in a real pickle here. My friends should be able to help if you can find this on them on this island. Uh, sure. Sure. Dang it. Thank goodness, finally, finally, finally. 
Oh, hello. Whoa, this looks bad. Hang on, hang on, friend. I'm coming. Uh. Okay, more weird marks. I still don't know what this is about, but I might as well update my copy to match. Okay. Uh, okay. Whoa, this looks bad. Hang on, friend, I'm coming. We'll save you. Oh, push. Ah! Oh! Whoa, this looks bad! Hang on, friend, I'm coming! Oh! No! Bad fish! Whoa, this looks bad! Hang on, friend, I'm coming! He's still uh, after me. I guess I have to push. Oh, I have to push these all in. Oh, yay! Thanks for saving all of us, especially me. I don't have a reward for me, you, but I can show you a cool spot to fish for treasure out here. Shame! We won't let our friend, friend be humiliated! Dignity huddle activated! Phew, I suppose the one thing any toad really needs is good friends. And a backup vest. For emergencies. Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. We shouldn't- wait. I don't have a save point anywhere. Never mind. Once I find a safe walk, then we'll end the video. Oh, never mind, it saves. Right, 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 I forgot. It saves every time you leave a place. So anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, bye-bye.